Hello and welcome to the very first tutorial of Attitude Corner. I am your host Abhijit and in this video we are going to see the basics of number system and also different divisibility tests. After completion of this video, we are going to solve some examples based on this basic concept in our next video. So let's get started. First we will see the different numbers in the number system. The first one is a natural number. So what are natural numbers? The numbers 1, 2, 3 and so on are called as natural number and this is generated by n. You can see these are all positive numbers. What are whole numbers? Just consider the natural number along with 0. This is known as whole number. It is denoted by w. Integers, the natural numbers, the negative of natural number and 0. You consider 0, you consider all positive numbers from 1, 2 and so on up to n. You can consider minus 1, minus 2 up to minus n which all collection of numbers are known as integers. It is denoted by z. Rational number, the number of the form p by q. The q is not equal to 0, where p and q are both are the integers. These are the rational numbers. Irrational numbers, a non terminating no recurrence decimal. What that means? The best example is a pi. We cannot get the accurate value of a pi. If you consider this value, 22 by 7 is equal to 3.14 this whole long number it is close to 22 by 7 but it is not accurate this is actually a non-terminating fraction and it is not accurate value of 22 by 7 that's why it is an irrational number real numbers a collection of rational and irrational numbers are known as real numbers even number you know this very well the number which is divisible by 2 there are many examples, 2, 4, 20, 100 and so on. You can remember those. Odd numbers, the numbers which are not divisible by 2. Those are known as odd numbers. There are lots of examples, you know that. Prime number, number other than 1 that is divisible by 1 and itself. You can consider 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 and so on. Co-prime or relatively prime. Two or more numbers are said to be co-prime if they have only one as a common factor. Consider a simple example of 4 and 5. If you consider the factors of 4, it will be 2 into 2 into 1. If you consider the factor of 5, it is 5 into 1. So in these two numbers, if you look at closely, there is only one as a common factor between these two and no other common factor. So these are known as co-prime. Composite number, the number other than 1 which is not prime are composite. Examples 2, 4, 9, 15. The numbers except the prime numbers. Then we will see the test of divisibility. The important part from the point of view of your aptitude. If you know this all the test of divisibility, you can solve the examples of the aptitude very easily. First is divisibility by 2. If the unit digit in any number it is either 2, 0, 4, 6 or 8 then you can say that the number is divisible by 2 consider example 20, 60, 58 look at the unit place digits these are either from 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 hence these numbers are divisible by 2 then divisible by 3 if the sum of the digit is divisible by 3 then you can say that it is divisible by 3 just an example 1, 2, 3. The sum of the digit is 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6, which is actually divisible by 3. Hence, 123 is divisible by 3. So, I mean, there is another example you have taken here. 567. 5 plus 6 plus 7 equal to 18, which is divisible by 3. Hence, again, 567 is divisible by 3. Then, divisibility by 4. If a number formed by last two digits is divisible by 4, then you can say that, that the whole number is divisible by 4. Consider this whole long number. We just need to consider this last two digits. It is 48. And 48 is divisible by 4. Hence, this whole long number is divisible by 4. Divisibility by 5. If its unit digit is either 0 or 5, you know that. If any number's unit digit is 0 or 5, then it is, you can say that it is divisible by 5. This whole long number you consider, its unit digit is 5, hence it is divisible by 5. 
divisibility by 6. If the number is divisible by 2 and 3, then you can say that a particular number is divisible by 6. If you consider 12 here, for a small example, what is divisible test for 2? Its unit uh, place should be a uh, multiple of 2 or 0. Okay, 0, 2, 4, 8. Okay, divisible by 2. What is the divisible test for 3? Sum is divisible by 3. So 12 is divisible by 3. Now, hence, it is divisible by 6 also. Divisibility by 8. If the number formed by 3 last 3 digit of a given number is divisible by 8, consider this number here 672 is divisible by 8, hence the whole long number is divisible by 8. Okay. Divisible by 9. If the sum of the digit is divisible by 9, then you can see that the whole number is divisible by 9. Consider this example 5967, the total is 27, which is divisible by 9. Hence, 5967 is divisible by 9. Divisible by 10. If the last digit is 0, you can directly say that it is divisible by 10. Divisibility by 11. This is somewhat interesting. If the difference of the sum of its digit at odd places and the sum of its digit at even places is either 0 or a number which is divisible by 11, then you can say that the whole number is divisible by 11. Consider this example. You take first the sum of the digits at odd places. 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 12. Then take the sum of the digit at 11, even places. 9 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 is equal to 23. Now take the difference. Don't consider the sign here. Just consider the mod. What is the difference between 23 and 12? It is actually 11, which is divisible by 11. Hence, this whole number is divisible by 11. So that's it for this video. If you have any queries, write there in the comment section. If you like the video, Please give a big thumbs thumbs up. If you want this PPT, you can go through the link given in the description section below. Okay. Thank you.